for Everything Scary, I'm GM Haunts, and today I am here with my movie review of the 1985 horror film known as The Stuff. gentlemen welcome to a different type uh, of video kind of because welcome to a horror movie review now i am a horror channel and a halloween based channel but i don't do a lot of horror movie reviews um but i do watch a lot of horror movies in my free time uh well i just watched a horror movie this past weekend and i thought it was a cool movie i thought it was very unique and i thought you know i should probably do a review on that because it was a unique movie and I think it would be cool to share my thoughts on it with all of you watching out there. So today I will be doing a horror, horror movie review of the 1985 horror film classic, The Stuff. Um, so again, I just, I wanted to do a review on The Stuff because it's such a unique movie. It is uh, a kind of a classic horror film, uh, but kind of how I describe it, a second tier classic where uh, true horror fans would have uh, seen it or at least heard of it once or twice. Um, well, it has been on my list for a while to check out, and this past weekend I finally got to it, and I ended up watching the stuff, and today I'm going to be giving you guys my thoughts on it and seeing if I recommend it or not for you guys to go check it out. So, let's jump into the synopsis. So the stuff definitely has a very interesting storyline, um, but before I go into all the, the minuscule details and the things I liked and the things I didn't like and the editing and all that, I'm first going to give you a basic synopsis of the movie um, and, and what the story is in the 1985 film, The Stuff. So, uh, there in the, the first shot of the movie shows us uh, a, a man uh, walking in this snowy area, kind of it looks like a construction site looking thing, when he discovers a, uh, a little substance bubbling up from the snow. Um, he decides that he's going to taste this uh, bubbling substance. Why? I don't know, but I don't know why he would taste that, but that's not, I'm giving you a synopsis. So, um, anyway, he goes down and he's tasting this substance that is bubbling up from the snow, and he discovers that it tastes very, very sweet, and it is very, very good. Uh, another man comes over, and the original guy gives him some of it to taste, to which the other man also very much enjoys it. This bubbling substance uh, begins to being retailed and sold to people around the world, and it is marketed as an ice cream treat known as the stuff. The stuff starts to take over the world, uh, and everyone is very, very much enjoying it, and it is becoming an addicting treat that everyone very much enjoys, as it is also marketed in a very colorful container uh, that everyone is eating out of. Might I mention, it's also a white substance, where, again, it looks like vanilla ice cream, um, and everyone's eating this. Uh, so, again, it is being sold as an ice cream, but it is definitely doing something else to all of the people that eat it. Uh, I don't want to say killed, but I'm not really sure how to describe what it does to people, uh, so why don't I just show you what it does to people. Ah! Oh, God, ah! So that is what this stuff does. Um, it, it's very interesting. It kind of just like takes you apart, rips you apart after uh, you eat this stuff. Uh, this stuff, get it? Uh, it, it rips you apart. It is a very, very uh, alien-like substance, and it is definitely not ice cream. Um, it's not really ever said what the stuff actually is. Uh, there's never any alien stuff. There's never any uh, aliens that bring it. It's always just a scene, especially at the end of the movie, as people are collecting it from the ground, and it's being it's being collected in these uh, giant trucks, and then being put in the uh, the containers which it is sold by. So it's not really ever said what the stuff actually is or what it's where it's coming from. It just it comes up from the ground and then is being sold. And again, when it's eaten, uh, it definitely does some damage. Uh, the first bullet point I want to talk about in this movie review is editing because I feel like the editing in this movie is a big a key point to it. Um, and the editing is very strange. I, I just I want to say that there's a lot of weird cuts in this movie. Uh, there's a lot of scenes 
that like don't really connect to the scene before it and after it where there's like a, a strange cut and you're not really it by the next scene you're kind of thinking what happened in that last uh storyline i'm not really sure why they cut it like that again this is 1985 they're not going to have all the effects and everything that they have now but there's not really transitions in this movie it's more of these hard cuts from scene to scene it doesn't really take away from the movie it's just how it's cut and the time that it was made in so i'm not gonna uh, knock the movie for having these uh jump cuts and these kind of weird transitions but it is something that is apparent in the movie uh for the next bullet point i'm going to talk out talk about uh effects So I actually believe for a 1985 film that the effects in the stuff are actually really, really cool. There are multiple scenes throughout the movie where this ice cream uh, substance, the stuff, is like uh, moving around by itself in the uh, when it's in the truck uh, with the boy is one scene, when it's in the motel room. There are multiple scenes where the stuff is moving around and I think it's really well done uh, and especially how it looks in the movie. Uh, again, for a 1985 film, I really think it looks really nice. Uh, another thing where the effects really shine in this movie are the kill, all the kill scenes. When uh, the stuff is murdering the people that uh, that ate it, I think this really, really looks good, especially the deformation of the people. I think the movie does a great job of showing what the stuff does to you and how it kind of takes apart your whole mouth and your whole head, especially with how the stuff actually comes back uh, out of your mouth like you're throwing it up after you've eaten it. I think that really looks good and it doesn't look that cheesy um, and I actually found myself impressed while watching the movie and seeing how the stuff really looks good. Uh, I actually read that the stuff was a, 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 a latex substance, a foam substance, that they used when they actually filmed it. Uh, but it does look good. I, I'm going to throw that into effects. That the stuff really does look like ice cream. Uh, it doesn't look like a weird substance. It looks good. Uh, another effect that, it's not really an effect, but I, I'm going to call it an effect. Uh, when it is bubbling up from the ground and the ending scenes and the opening shot, it really does look good. I like how it is bubbling up from the ground. I think it looks cool because it actually looks like it's foaming. Um, it, it, it looks interesting the way that it's shot, uh, especially with the opening uh, the opening scene. You're wondering uh, why this is coming out of the snow, what it is, uh, and then the, again, the man will end up eating it. Oh, uh, one thing I just want to talk about um, is the fact of this movie has a very similar vibe, at least to me, has a very similar vibe to Halloween 3 Season of the Witch and They Live. Um, now, the reason I say this is because the way um, this movie kind of moves around and the way d the story develops and the way it's edited are very similar to Halloween 3 and They Live. Uh, obviously, this is because the stuff they live and Halloween 3 all came around the same time in the 80s, just a couple years before and after each other. Um, and I feel like there's a lot of scenes in the stuff where I said, hey, that reminds me of Halloween 3. Um, for example, when they go to the motel, or hotel, whatever you want to call it, it's more of a motel though, in the stuff, I was thinking back to Halloween 3 when they go to the motel, uh, and it reminded me of that. And it also does have a very similar feel to They Live, um, where if you haven't seen They Live, uh, Roddy Roddy Piper, Roddy Roddy Piper is actually uh, the the main actor in it, where he kind of has this uh, dynamic where it's him against the uh, the city because everyone else is an alien, and I feel like I got that same vibe from watching the stuff because it's this uh, the guy who's looking into it against all the people who know about what is actually in the stuff but are still deciding to sell it, and I feel like that dynamic of Roddy Roddy Piper against the aliens and uh, the investigator against the people selling the stuff is a very, very similar dynamic. Uh, and I'm assuming that is because these movies came around the same time. Now, again, I'm saying this not because it's a bad thing. I actually think it's a good thing. I really like um, that the movie reminds me of Halloween 3 um, and reminds me of They Live because They Live is absolutely my top 10 favorite horror movies of all time. Uh, I also really, really enjoy Halloween 3 as its own movie. Um, and I, I really like these 80s movies. I like classic horror, and I think I love uh, these 80s horror movies. And I think the stuff fits in there really well, um, and I enjoyed it. I think it fits in there really well uh, with my favorite 80s movies because of the way it feels, the way the story develops, the way it looks, which again is going to be like that because of a cam the camera they used when it was filmed at that time. But I think it really does just fit that feel of an 80s horror movie. Um, one thing I want to talk about, which is kind of a strange... A bullet point but I wanted to mention it because I really like it. I really like the design 
of the the canisters for the stuff, the ice cream containers. I think that bright kind of uh, striped coloring with the wacky font that says the stuff is really, really cool. And I really like how it looks because it has those bright colors. I especially think it really pops on the screen, especially in the scene with the supermarket uh, when the boy is running around and trying to get all the stuff off the shelves. I think the colors of it really, really pop on screen. And I really like how that came out in the movie because it really does pop. It's not generic. It, it looks good. Uh, and it looks like a real classic ice cream container. And for that, uh, I just think it was a nice touch and they did a really nice job designing the stuff. Um, just some final notes. Again, I really like the stuff. I think it fits in really well with my favorite 80s horror movies because of the way it feels, the way the story develops. I really like the design of how the stuff looks. Uh, and probably my favorite thing overall in this movie are the kill scenes because I love the way that the, the stuff ends up killing the people who ate it. Those kill scenes are really, really cool and the effects look uh, really great for the time and that is why I am ranking it so high and like it so much. Uh, for my final rating of the stuff, I'm probably going to give it 7.5 out of 10 on the spookiness scale uh, for horror movies, I guess I'll call it. I don't know, I don't do a lot of horror movie reviews. So I guess I'll call it the spookiness uh, horror movie scale. I'm going to be giving it 7.5 out of 10. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap up my official movie review of the 1985 horror film The Stuff, so let's cut to the outro. So that is going to wrap up my review of the 1985 horror film classic The Stuff. Uh, just some final notes, I definitely do recommend everyone watching this to go check out The Stuff. That's right, you watching this right now. Go check out The Stuff. Uh, I think it's worth a watch. It's a classic movie. Uh, it's a good 80s horror movie, and it fits in well with the Halloween 3, They Live, and all those other movies that came around that same time. So if you like those classics, definitely go check out the stuff, because I think you'll enjoy it too. Uh, one thing I just want to mention, as of, uh, as of right now, the time I am filming this, I am at 492 subscribers. That is right, I'm only 8 subscribers away from that big 500 milestone. Now, I don't want to give away too much, but I will tell you this. I have big, big plans for my 500 subscriber special. I already have it all complete. It's ready. It's going to be dropped. It's going to be revealed as soon as I hit 500 subscribers. Uh, so I ask you, if you're not subscribed right now, please, please go subscribe. Uh, contribute to the cause. Get me to 500 and we will have an awesome 500 subscriber special. Spectacular. Ladies and gentlemen, remember as always, for everything scary, I'm GM Haunts. I'll see you guys later for more spooky videos. Goodbye.